So Michael told you how, how we want to better serve end users through a new and innovative business model. My job is to create the products and packaging that support our role as your strategic partner and to fulfill our vision for the future of work, Project Tempo. So Project Tempo is our vision for next generation communications. It enables individuals and teams to reach new levels of productivity. How? By integrating real-time communications and collaboration, cloud applications, and contextual intelligence into a truly unified user experience. We've made great strides with Project Tempo, adding team collaboration and contact center applications, as well as enhancing UC1 with our hub service. Now, before we get into the products and services, let's take a step back to discuss our portfolio. So as Broadsoft grows and expands to fulfill the Project Tempo vision, we developed a simple and scalable way to package our products. This packaging showcases the advanced integration of our products, making your offers easier to sell. So welcome to Broadsoft Business, our portfolio of applications, platforms, and services. So our applications include UC1 and our new additions, Team1 and CC1. Broadworks and Broad Cloud remain an important part of Broadsoft Business. They're our foundation and the platforms we use to deliver our products. So I'll walk you through all parts of the Broadsoft Business portfolio. I'll also highlight how our applications integrate with each other and the benefits of deploying Broadsoft Business as a whole. So let's dive a little bit deeper and take a look at the value we're bringing you today, starting with UC1. So for those of you new to UC1, it's our unified communication solution. It's available as software you deploy in your network or as a cloud service. So there's still a huge market opportunity to replace premise-based PBXs with cloud-based services. As an industry, we've only begun this transformation. Our objective with UC1 is to make sure you're equipped to capture that market. Businesses are looking for more than just the phone system. They're looking for ways to make their day-to-day -day communications more effective and ultimately make their workforce more productive. We believe modern businesses, regardless of size, all need the same core communications features, starting with messaging, the most efficient form of communications in any company today. Businesses also need a powerful calling solution, one that makes their employees reachable by anyone, anywhere, and on any device. And finally, businesses need a way for their teams to meet so they can discuss, share, and collaborate with one another in real time. So messaging, calling, and meetings form the foundation of our UC1 solution. And over the past year, we've made significant investments in each of these areas. So let's walk through some of the most important improvements that we've made. So messaging becomes the primary form of communications on mobile devices. So think about your kids. When was the last time they called instead of uh, just sending you a message? So exactly, I know my kids uh, sometimes never even call me or message me. <laughs> but, it, but it's not just kids. So when you communicate with a business colleague, what do you do first? You send a message. You don't really call unless you absolutely have to. So earlier this year, we introduced our next generation messaging app, UC1 Connect. Our design makes messaging the primary focus of the business communications experience on your mobile. So like consumer messaging apps, the primary screen for UC1 Connect is a chronological list of your most recent conversations. So this includes one-on-one -on -one and group chats. We've designed Connect to leverage the push notification support on both Android and iOS. So once you've authorized the application with your UC1 account, it receives messages even when it isn't running. So this means you won't ever miss a message and the application is very battery friendly. So as Michael mentioned, last year we introduced Hub as a beta service through our set of qualified UC1 operators. Since we launched the beta service, we built a number of new third-party integrations, including Office 365, Salesforce.com, Twitter, and of course, Team One. 
So whenever you have a conversation in UC1, the hub service mines each of the integrated platforms to find the most relevant emails, files, and documents related to the conversation and makes it available in the contextual view. So this is a powerful feature on the desktop, but we knew it would be even more powerful on the mobile. So I'm happy to announce that the latest version of UC1 Connect now has hub support. In addition, we're moving hub out of beta and making it generally available. And trying to find a specific email or document when you're on the go is frustrating. So with Hub, the Connect application can filter emails, files, tasks, and other content based on the person you're having a conversation with. Now, all you have to do is swipe left from the chat screen and you get a consolidated view of all the associated data. So if you need to open a document that you are both working on, it's right there. So let's take a look at Hub's mobile experience. Okay, so here I've got the, the main screen um, for UC1 Connect. So Ethan and I are having a conversation about a document that we're both working on. Now before UC1 Connect, if I wanted to try to find that document on my mobile, it, it was a bit challenging. Now with UC1 Connect and Hub, all I have to do is swipe to the left, now I get a list of all of my uh, contacts. So I have my calendar entries, I have my email, I have my documents, and I have all of the information associated with Team One. So now if I wanna find the, the document that uh, Ethan and I were talking about, oh, it's right there. So all I have to do is bring it up just like that. So that's it, very easy. So I can access all of the information from my business apps on my mobile using Hub, and UC1 Connect. So next, let's talk about calling in UC1. So business calling has always been our core competency. From day one, we built Broadworks to be the best call processing platform in the industry. UC1 is built upon the same Broadworks software you've already got deployed in your network. And our strategy is to provide a unified experience across all the user's devices desk phone, laptop, tablet, and mobile phone. Now on the desktop, calling in UC1 is powered by our, our communicator experience. Many of you already have that deployed today. Earlier this year, we released a new version of UC1 communicator for Chrome. This version included our latest desktop look and feel. It also embedded all of the new hub contextual apps. But up until now, it's been limited to the Chrome platform. So today I'm excited to announce that we'll be bringing this new look and feel, along with Hub support, to the native desktop communicator experience on both Mac and Windows. So now let's talk a little bit about mobile. So on the mobile side, you also need to deliver a high quality business calling experience. UC1 supports two approaches for mobile calling. The first approach leverages the native mobile dialer. So through advanced call control capabilities on Broadworks, the UC1 mobile applications can make and receive business calls using the mobile network. This has the advantage of working anywhere, delivering a guaranteed quality of service that's comparable to mobile calling. Now the second approach leverages voice over IP on top of the mobile data or Wi-Fi network. And when the data network is good, this has the advantage of delivering a higher quality media experience. However, voice over IP in the mobile has always been limited in user experience because voice over IP calls can be interrupted by incoming calls to the native dialer. For this reason, we've always discouraged VoIP on mobile. Now this all changed with the latest release of Apple's iOS 10. This release includes a framework called CallKit so CallKit exposes hooks in iOS that address the biggest user experience issues in mobile voice over IP applications. So for instance, with CallKit, incoming voice over IP calls actually alert the phone, just like regular mobile calls. And they can be answered using the same native dialer user interface. Also with CallKit, the call waiting experience is handled the same for voice over IP calls as it is for regular mobile calls. And finally, the built-in context ap application on the phone allows the user to choose which calling application they want to use to call a contact. 
the native dialer or a voice over IP application. So I'm happy to announce that we're now adding full call kit support to both UC1 Communicator and UC1 Connect. And on Android, we'll support a similar level of integration. So you're really going to like these new capabilities. When you combine them with Hub, it gives you a strong competitive advantage against anything else in the market. The, primary, uh, the mobile experience for UC1 continues to be our primary focus for the end user. And we're going to continue to invest in this as we move forward. For example, to make it safer to use UC1 in a hands-free environment, like in your car, we're working on integrating UC1 Connect with the Siri kit available in iOS 10, providing voice-activated dialing. OK, the next area I want to cover is meetings. So meetings are important to getting work done, reporting progress, sharing information, and making decisions. In practice, though, meetings can be the single most inefficient form of communications in the enterprise. So we've started an initiative to look at all aspects of the meeting experience with an objective of simply making it better. UC1 My Room has been our cornerstone for empowering every user to host a productive meeting. It offers high-quality audio and video conferencing combined with an easy-to-use screen sharing experience. Now, the first thing we've been looking at is simplifying the way people join meetings. After all, if a team can't join the meeting, it's going to be hard to make that meeting productive. So first, we're simplifying the mobile meeting experience. Earlier this year, we introduced our UC1 Meet app. So how many times a week do you struggle to get into conference calls from your mobile? If you're like me, you write down the dial-in information, you get in your car, you try entering the access code, and you're just told the code's invalid. It's frustrating, it wastes time, and it's definitely not safe. So UC1 Meet offers one-step dialing into your conference call. It allows you to easily join a meeting from your mobile device based on your calendar. So let me show you how that works. OK, so you bring up the uh, UC1 Meet app, and you'll see that it's a list of all of your calendar entries for the day. Now, all I have to do to join a meeting is click the icon on the side of the calendar entry. So you see one meet minds your calendar, looks for your business meetings, and it parses the information in the meeting to determine whose room to join or what conference bridge to dial into. If the meeting is a UC1 My Room, then that room is joined. Otherwise, the app dials the phone number of the meeting and automatically enters the access code. So UC1 Meet manages the complexity of joining a meeting, providing a focused, simple, and most importantly, incredibly useful user experience. Now, the second meeting experience we wanted to simplify was the conference room. So while UC1 has been successful in bringing video conferencing to individuals, there's still many conference rooms, both large and small, that aren't equipped for video conferencing usually due to the high cost of these systems. And the industry shows the shift from very large conference rooms to smaller conference rooms and even huddle rooms, which means you have to equip even more rooms. So I'll bet you've all had the traditional conference room experience. You walk into the conference room, you try to figure out how to use the equipment, and you end up wasting the first 10 minutes of the meeting. Not a great experience. So today, all that changes. Our new UC1 conference room allows meetings and conference and huddle rooms to take advantage of the UC1 experience. It's specifically designed for small to medium-sized rooms, up to 12 participants with the familiar UC1 experience. We've partnered with Logitech to provide the audio and video equipment. You can use an existing TV, couple it with the UC1 conference room hardware bundle, plus a standard UC1 license, and you're all set to bring the power of UC1 to conference rooms at a very affordable price. So let me show you the key features of UC1 conference rooms. OK, so when you walk into the conference room, this is the screen that you see. So for scheduled meetings, all you have to do is simply include the conference room in your calendar invite, and the meeting will display as you see here on the screen. If you want to join the meeting, all you have to do is walk up and click the Join button. 
Now for non-scheduled meetings, you just have to search for a colleague. So I will search for my brother, Sam. He often needs my brotherly guidance. And all I have to do is click on his name and I can join his My Room session. Now for those people who are unfortunate and don't have UC1, you can also use the dial pad to dial into a conference bridge and enter the access code. Also, if someone calls into the meeting room, you can use the same interface to answer the call. So with all these ways to join a meeting, we've created a user experience that's simple and easy, allowing meetings to get started on time and increasing efficiency. So there you go. That's how easy it is. So what's coming next for meetings? So one of the things that we're working on is enhancing UC1 Meet so that it can be used as a control app for UC1 conference room. So instead of using the keyboard like you saw me use here, you can just use the mobile app. But we're also working on support for small two to three person huddle rooms, providing different hardware optimized at a lower price point. And last, we're adding support for guests to share content so anyone can walk into the conference room and share their laptop, mobile, or tablet screen with the meeting. So we plan on putting even more focus on improving the meeting experience going forward. So what I've shown you here today is just the start of what we believe will lead to new levels of meeting productivity. Okay, next I'd like to talk about our enterprise administration experience for UC1 our UC1 Enterprise Portal. In our latest release, we're focusing on simplifying the workflow for initial activation and configuration for small to medium businesses. Most of our operator partners agree that streamlining the self-care experience is critical to success in this market and helps to minimize operations and support costs. The UC1 Enterprise Portal provides a modern, single-page web experience for performing moves, ads, changes, and deletions of user profiles. So let me walk you through how it works. First, the administrator sees a quick view of all of their sites. Clicking through on a site gives the administrator a dashboard that shows users who, which users have been activated and an inventory of unallocated seats. To simplify activation, we use a single dialogue sequence. This allows administrators to simply choose from an inventory of numbers, packages, and devices that the enterprise has previously purchased. The administrator adds details like first name, last name, email address, and extension, and just click Save. This automatically creates the username and password, assigns a phone number, creates all necessary resources for user login, and if applicable, creates a device profile and device credentials for their phone. An administrator now has all of the information necessary to email the user so that they can download apps and start using UC1. So we're saving them time and making your teams more productive. So our latest release also simplifies front office activities like creating auto attendance, setting up hunt groups, and setting office hours. The workflow is intuitive and simple enough for non-technical people to navigate and use. We've chosen to support a suite of services aligned with our reference UC1 offer for small to medium businesses. And we're working to provide an activation sequence optimized for larger enterprises by allowing users to be imported from directory services like Active Directory. Now by adapting a, a, a modern web stack, the portal is fully responsive. So it's equally easy to use on your mobile or tablet, making it possible for the administrator to manage the service while they're away from the office. Our vision is to make the UC1 Enterprise Portal relevant to the IT administrator's day-to-day -day workflow so they can continue to log into the portal beyond initial setup of the service. We're planning on adding features like service monitoring, allowing the enterprise admin to see service health in each site and quickly identify any problems. We're also planning on adding metrics, reporting, and analytics to the portal. This will help the administrator gather information about service usage and quality of experience to better support their user base. So for you, the service provider, this keeps the enterprise administrator more engaged and ultimately more satisfied with your service. So, 
Messaging, calling, and meetings. These are the fundamental functions every business is looking for when they replace their aging PBX. UC1 delivers each of these functions with a focus on mobility and productivity. With our continued investment in UC1, you can succeed in the UCAS market. So next, let's talk about our contact center solution, CC1. So as Michael said, we acquired Transera to add a cloud-based contact center to our portfolio. So let me dive a little bit deeper into that. Now, we knew that to compete more broadly in the market, we needed to enhance our voice-only Broadworks call center. Businesses now view contact centers as critical to their growth. They're adding omni-channel capabilities to allow customers to communicate with them using voice, chat, or email. And they expect advanced analytics that help them to understand how to best optimize their workforce. So with CC1, we're delivering these capabilities. It's a rich cloud contact center solution that addresses the needs of all market segments. The contact center as a service market is highly complementary to the unified communications market and is growing as fast, if not faster. Already a $5 billion per year market, cloud offers are only 8% penetrated today. At the forecasted 25% annual growth rate, the market will reach $15 billion by 2020. Contact centers are a particularly attractive market for service providers because the pull through revenue opportunity from toll free services is nearly equal to the subscription revenue from the application. A successful cloud contact center business makes those toll free minutes very sticky. Our CC1 application has a proven track record of providing dependable service to mission critical customers, such as Office Depot, who's been a customer for over nine years. They have 3,000 agents spread across 34 sites on four continents. Our unique use of predictive analytics and analytics-based routing is a key differentiator. It sets us apart from other cloud contact center solutions. In fact, our analytics solutions and large customer successes have earned us visionary status in Gardner's Magic Quadrant for the North America Contact Center as a Service segment. So now, can you sell it? Well, absolutely. We're making it easy for service providers to position and sell CC1 with additions designed to address the key needs of targeted markets. So our business edition standard packages the key features required by the majority of voice-only contact centers. Our business edition premium has the same feature set, adding omni-channel capabilities. Our Salesforce edition has the same features as our standard edition, but with all functionality embedded natively within the salesforce.com user experience. Our cloud routing edition is targeted at multi-site contact centers operating multiple premises solutions and looking to preserve that investment. It ensures that every call is routed to the best available resource across the distributed environment. And since it interworks with the other CC1 editions, it offers a graceful migration from premise-based agents to cloud-based agents. So as I mentioned, analytics is, a, is our key differentiator, providing extremely powerful and compelling capabilities. It combines data from multiple business systems to provide a 360-degree view of the customer journey, offering insights into how to improve revenues, lower churn, and optimize operations. But our solution goes beyond just insights. The recommendations engine feeds back directly into the ACD to provide analytics-driven routing. This enables the ACD to use the latest customer and agent behavior to dynamically adopt routing, even optimizing on a call-by-call -call basis. So, if you've been waiting for our contact center move, I hope you're as excited as we are about CC1. It's a great addition to our product portfolio. But we're not stopping there. You can expect much more innovation as we move forward. We're looking to add rich feature functionality, improve self-service for customers, and integrate with UC1 and Team1. So now let me introduce you to Team1, our team collaboration tool. It's the newest application in our portfolio. Team1 is designed to address the growing enterprise messaging market, which analysts estimate to be worth $2 billion. 
So you may have heard about Slack, Facebook Workplace, and more recently, Microsoft Teams. These are all enterprise messaging applications. And they want your customer base. So luckily, the market is still very new, and there's a lot of opportunity to win. Our strategy is to tightly integrate the calling capabilities of Broadworks and UC1 with Team1, so you can offer a more compelling solution to the enterprise messaging market. So let's take a closer look at what Team1 can do. Now, while UC1 primarily improves personal productivity, Team1 enables better team collaboration. It does this by centralizing messages, tasks, documents, and other project-related information into a virtual workspace. This promotes ongoing conversation among team members through chat and real-time communications. It also makes it easy to find what you need when you need it. Information and team conversations are always available in the workspace. The Bratsoft Hub is also available on Team One, allowing the user to quickly find information and other apps. So as Michael mentioned, we acquired team collaboration technology and we've worked hard to integrate it seamlessly within Broadsoft Business. But instead of me telling you about it, let me show you with a short video. The speed and volume of work today is relentless. We are inundated with so many emails and messaging threads that we're overwhelmed with information before the day even gets started. At the same time, we're juggling multiple applications and dozens of tasks and seem to always be scrambling to find the right files and notes to prepare for meetings. It's no wonder we lose 40% of our productivity just trying to multitask our way through fragmented workflows. Imagine if all the project tasks, files, messages, and notes you need were in one place, along with video conferencing, click-to-call, screen sharing, and integrations with over 50 popular business apps, so you and your team can get things done from anywhere, anytime, and on any device. This is the integrated collaboration experience Broadsoft Team One delivers a powerful business collaboration app that makes day-to-day -day work easy. Team One's secure, easily organized workspaces make teamwork effortless. Collaboration is natural when messaging, task tracking, file sharing, and document review all happen in one place. And team communications flow freely when conferences and calls happen there as well. Team One lets you work anywhere, anytime, with anyone on any device. Team One is built for business as part of Broadsoft's business communications and collaboration suite that is open, secure, and highly reliable. So what are you waiting for? Find out what Team One can do for your team today. Okay, so let me show you a little bit more about how it works. So here I've got a, a project that I've created, the, the Smith Remodeling Project, and I've, I've invited team members to join my project. So the workspace has uh, chat, so all the uh, messaging that's occurred within uh, this particular project. Also has notes, so meeting notes or uh, specific things that, that we need to keep track of. It also has tasks, which you can use for action items. And then it also has all the files associated with this particular workspace. So the workspace is a single repository for all project-related information. So within a workspace, I, I can access files from Google Drive, Box, Dropbox, and OneDrive. I can also assign a task to another member of the workspace, and that user will receive a notification that the task is assigned to them. So all information within the workspace is persisted and accessible from my laptop, my tablet, and my mobile. So when I come back to the workspace, I can easily check on the latest status of, of communications of the project. I don't need to scramble through my emails to find this information, which makes team collaboration less frustrating and more productive. So Team One is open and extensible. It provides out-of-the-box connectors for integration with dozens of third-party apps. And for those of you that want to add your own apps, Team One offers a developer's program with open APIs and a bot framework. So you can easily build apps that automate common tasks. So everything about Team One is simple and easy. It has a simple per user per month pricing model, and we've priced it aggressively, allowing you to be competitive and maintain a healthy margin. If you've already deployed UC1, it's an easy add-on and upsell to your existing customer base. 
And for your customers, it's easy to purchase and onboard users. We provide the go-to-market support and digital marketing assets needed to offer Team One. And most importantly, it's available to take to market today. Okay, so UC1, CC1, Team One. These applications are broad soft business, an unparalleled combination of powerful applications to move forward with. So these applications are delivered through our platforms, Broadworks and Broad Cloud. So let's talk about those. So first, a quick update on Broadworks. So we're continuing to invest to take advantage of emerging technologies. Our release 22, which is available next month, includes a cloud-native architecture called Amplify. It enables the creation of large and scalable cloud environments. We're also adding support for public cloud platforms, like Amazon Web Services, to further reduce the cost of owning the Broadworks platform. We're investing heavily in a new component, the Network Function Manager. It's our next generation element management system, providing centralized licensing, network monitoring, service assurance, and software lifecycle management. All of this investment is to make Broadworks easier and less expensive to operate. So next, an update on BroadCloud. So BroadCloud's our cloud service for delivering all of our BroadSoft business applications. It's designed for service providers and includes an end-to-end -end automated business process, which helps to increase your speed to market. We made great strides with BroadCloud. We've added new features, new devices, and new geographies, as well as enhancing our business processes. We've expanded our API library, allowing greater integration with our partners' ex existing systems and processes. We've launched BroadCloud in France and Australia, and with our acquisition of PBXL, we're providing BroadCloud in Japan. We've introduced bill on behalf billing and customer service support for our partners, helping you to get to market even faster. And now we're working on enhancements to our large and multinational enterprise solutions. Now the net of all this is that we made a lot of progress in helping our broad cloud partners meet their customer needs. Looking forward, we're continuing to drive innovation. Today, we're excited to announce a new solution Broad Cloud Platform as a Service, our Broad Cloud Paths. Many of our partners want to leverage the benefits of the cloud, but require a greater degree of control and customization than we currently have. They also want to integrate into their own user experiences and back office support systems. So, with Broad Cloud Paths, we provide the same infrastructure and components as our existing Broad Cloud Carrier model, but without the automated business process. For our partners requiring this level of control and customization, BroadCloud Paths is the answer. Just as we do today, we manage and maintain the infrastructure. Our partners provide their own access and telephony interconnects, connecting to our infrastructure. They also define their own product catalog and CPE options. We'll manage Broadworks with continuous patching and upgrades, leveraging our latest and greatest innovation. We'll also provide exposure to all the Broadworks APIs, allowing our partners to integrate into their own systems, processes, and user experiences. Complementing BroadCloud Paths is a toolbox of support capabilities necessary for our partners to manage the solution. The toolbox includes monitoring capabilities, troubleshooting tools, fraud management, utilization analytics, and migration tools. Now, BroadCloud Paths is not a replacement for our current BroadCloud offers. It's a new option, still for service providers who require control and flexibility. It still provides all the benefits of the cloud, rapid innovation, capital and resource savings, speed to market, and simplified market expansion. We see it as a great fit for partners that require highly customizable services, unique user experiences, special integrations, or simply desire more control. Even if you're running Broadworks today, BroadCloud Paths is a potential alternative. It allows you to focus your resources more on sales and marketing, less on engineering operations, while leveraging our innovation as quickly as we release it. We'll introduce BroadCloud Paths in the first quarter of 2017. 
offering it in the U.S. market initially and moving to other regions afterwards. We'll sell it on a consumption-based model, similar to our current BroadCloud offers, but using the same packaging as BroadWorks. For existing BroadWorks customers, we'll include a migration path with migration tools and support services to facilitate the process. We'll also provide flexible commercial structures so you can transition your network to BroadCloud paths, preserving the license investment you've already made. So we hope you're as excited about BroadCloud paths as we are. We're providing you more options so that you can have more flexibility in how you take your offers to market. All right, so that's the product update for Connections 2016. It's about the cloud, it's about mobile, it's about collaboration, and serving the customer how they want to be served. I hope you can see that we're making aggressive moves to strengthen our value to you as a partner and that we're focused on your success. Please, take advantage of every opportunity we have here to learn about what's new and what's coming. Ask tough questions. Our people are here to help you. We're driving to stay on top of these trends and we're very glad you guys are on the journey with us. So with that, I'd like to bring Michael back to help me close things out.